Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Thursday, the 4th of April, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Barbados women continue their winning ways, and in our feature for this evening, CPS does it again in convincing fashion. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. Drama 45. The Caribbean's greatest summer line. We are alive from July 26th to August 6th. Well, I'm back and we start with regional cricket. Fireworks from DeAndre Dutton's bat and bowling saw Barbados inch closer to winning the Cricket West Indies Women's T20 Blaze Tournament. Barbados secured a seven-wicket victory over Trinidad and Tobago to hand TNT their first defeat of the tournament, a match that saw the two top teams clash for an extended points lead. Trinidad and Tobago would have felt they posted 30 runs short of a defendable total against Barbados, finishing 136 for six from 20 overs. Thanks to some hard hitting by Dutton and a 41-run partnership between Kesia Knight and Daniel Small, the Bajans chased down the target in 15-point flyovers. In the second match of the day, Jamaica were comfortable winners over the Leeward Islands' poor Leewards by all of 10 wickets. Electing to bat first, the Leewards were bowled out for 61 in 18.4. Nisha Ann Waysom, taking her first wicket ever for, wickets ever for Jamaica, finished with 3 for 10 from 4 overs. The opening batting pair of Natasha McLean and Jody and Morgan cruised to the target in only 6.4 overs. The final match in round four saw the Windward Islands care host Guyana in their nighttime encounter. The win was restricted Guyana to 105 for 8 in 20. The Windwards were cruising, losing their first wicket with 34 on the board, but a major capitulation happened which brought a halt to their scoring. They only could muster 87 for 8 when their 20 overs were complete. We go to break, and when I come back, we'll have our exciting feature for this evening. Don't want nobody back. Trouble, trouble, trouble! Let me go! Everybody come! Don't want you to mad! We are going to push forward! I want to hear everybody say, Ready! Well, I'm back, and tonight, athletics takes the spotlight. Inevitably, as the Gulf Insurance Interprimary Athletics Championship for 2019 peaked with the final event for the day, the 4x400 meters relay opened for boys, it was Orange leading the way to the finish line. The defending champions, Charlestown Primary, ended the day just the way they started it, blowing away the competition. Invariably, the other schools gave it their all, and there was a point in the contest when St. Thomas's Primary may have been harboring thoughts of a sneak-up, but the CPS lads and lasses would have none of it. All of the schools and all of the athletes gave it their all. New kids on the block, Nevis Academy even picked up one or two significant medals. So too did St. James's Primary. However, when the CPS team was not collecting gold medals, they were generally in the mix with either silver or bronze, and the points kept adding up. All of the age categories saw athletes constantly testing their skills against each other, and they must be heartily commended for putting on a great show for a bumper crowd, which was estimated to be even bigger than recent years. There was even the funny side to the whole thing, as one little athlete lost a shoe in the 60 meters race and turned back to pick it up and completed the race walking with his shoe in hand. Another athlete, while on the starter's orders, bolted away from the pack before the signal from the starter, and as everyone watched on in shock, made an urgent beeline to the bathroom. It was a lot of noise, hair sprayed in various colors, costumes, and yes, the signature outfits. It all blended to make a marvelous day, which at one point was threatened by inclement weather, but it held up sufficiently for the CPS team to make their lap of honor and place their hands once again on the grand trophy. 
Congratulations are in order for the Ministries of Education and Sports and their hard-working teams, ably coordinated by Permanent Secretary Mr. Kevin Barrett. Kudos also to meet Director Garfield Virgo and all of the officials on the day who helped to make the event the grand success that it was. Final points, Charleston Primary, 218 points, Zone A champs and overall champions. St. Thomas's Primary in second, 184 points. Joycelyn Leibert Primary in third, 138 points. Ivor Walters Primary in fourth, 131 points. Elizabeth Pemberton Primary in fifth with 69 points. And they're still the Zone B champions and make that nine times in a row. Maud Cross Prep was next with 52 points, followed by VOJ and Primary with 48 points. Nevis Academy, the new kids on the block with 18 points and St. James's Primary with 15 points. We go now to the Nevis Athletic Stadium, a.k.a. the Mondo Track, and we pick up the action, but we'll also be featuring the 100 meters events. We're going to take a close look at this mascot for Charleston Primary. It really looks like a happy figure. Well, look at the mascot. Just look at the mascot. That's the mascot for the Charleston Primary. And I'm still trying to figure out whether it's Jean or her twin sister. Let's look at the other schools. Coming through APPS, Elizabeth Pemberton Primary. And today they have gone all out with the colors in their hair. Then we have the Ivor Walters Primary. We have Joyce and Leibert Primary with some cheerleaders doing a little bit of a jiggle here. JLPS, that's the shout. Then we have Mod Cross Prep and the new kids on the block with their pom pom girls, Nevis Academy. Looks as if they're ready. Then we have the St. James's Primary School. I think the entire school might be here in this March Pass. It's a small school, but they say they're not to be overlooked by any stretch of the imagination. Then, in bright green, the green machine, St. Thomas's Primary. And there goes St. Thomas's Primary. And then we also have the violet Nichols Primary School, V-O-J-N. The noise is going to start now. Looks like Charleston Primary. I'm seeing Orange. I'm seeing Joyce in Labour, I think it is. I'm seeing St. Thomas's. My goodness, St. Thomas's is cleaning this one up by a long way. St. Thomas's. And I think VOJ and Joyce in Labour Primary was somewhere in the mix. They're off and running. They're off and running. Who is leading the pack at this point? Looks like, well, as they get closer, it looks like VOJN and by a long way too. VOJN by a long way. She has been a dynamo all, all afternoon. I got you. Well, we're about to start. We're off and running. And let's see who is leading this one. 
another tight race. I'm seeing CPS. I'm seeing, it looks like St. Thomas's. It looks like, well, I'm not sure if it's St. Thomas's, but he has pulled away by a long stretch. My goodness, he took, and he puts his hand in the air. It's St. Thomas's. You can hear the shout, 253. They're yeah, off, clean start. The great three girls out of the blocks quickly. Somebody struggling in the middle there. But um, it looks like St. Thomas is pulling away. St. Thomas is pulling away. But Joyce and Liberty it is getting close, but not good enough. And it looks like St. Thomas is primary. They're on the start is orders. Clean start. Grade three boys. I'm seeing Joyce and Liberty. I'm seeing. Charleston Primary, I'm seeing St. Thomas's. Joyce and Leibert seems to be holding on. St. Thomas's is just about A. Hey! Well, that was close. Set. It's clean start, folks. Let's see who is leading this one. Well, it's a rush. Charleston Primary on the outside looking good. St. Thomas is looking good. Joyce and Leibert looking good. But it's Charleston. Well, it's girls. Yeah, I thought it was the boys, but it's the girls who came down. Clean start this time. How are they juggling? How are they juggling, folks? How are they juggling? 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 It looks like Charles down. It looks like Charles. It looks like maybe Ivor Walters. They're off and running. The red flag was up at the finish line. So this race might just be disqualified. But Charleston Primary is pushing out. A challenge now, challenge now, challenge now. Well, that looks like maybe Ivor Walters. Clean start, a little bit slow out of the blocks. But where is Charleston Primary? She's there. And there's also Jason Leibert Primary. Tiana is pushing, Charleston Primary is pushing. It's gonna be a close finish, four of them almost at the line. Well, Kent Ken is Ivor Walters. Here they go. Where are they? It looks like Kent Ken is struggling with VOJ and St. Thomas. Says it's Kent Ken and VOJ. And it looks like Kent Ken. It looks like Ivor Walters. They have a clean start this time. One or two of them moved a little sluggish this time. But um, the race is definitely on. As it looks like uh, Justin Leibert and Ivor Walters tumbling at the top and uh, Charleston on the outside, I'm not too sure. Well, congratulations to the Charleston Primary School. That's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.